Hello, Leo. Thank you for joining me for your weekly forecast for week commencing the 1st of May. The point of destiny in your situation has been focused since November 2015 on an area of your situation which may have seen you feeling obliged to give of yourself, your resources, to other people. It's been a very deep pull. But the great news is that on the 10th of this month, the North Node, which controls this, the, the dragon's head, is going to reverse back into your zodiac sign. And we're going to begin a year and a half's journey of a much more flamboyant, creative and warming period for us all. But before then, at the start of this week, the North Node is clashing with Venus. And of course, Venus has been pounded by the restrictive energies of Saturn for much of April. But don't worry, it's not going to be as serious as that. But it just suggests that any desire that you've had to open up your world and to feel less bogged down and restricted by the demands of other people may just be a little bit of a tense point over the first two days of this week. However, Mercury, the planet of communication, also in your sector of freedom, is tracking backwards, but by Wednesday ends its retrograde, and that's going to help us all to sigh one of a collective relief. Mercury, in its retrograde, of course, can affect travel, communications, technology, domestic items and appliances that we tend to rely upon, and perhaps some of these have proved a little bit less reliable of late. However, the combination between Mercury and Uranus this week is going to rejuvenate that burning desire in you to have more space, to be a free spirit, to invest in what makes you unique. Last week's new moon was really pushing you to be more um, ambitious about your goals in life. But to get there, I think it's going to be a case of the people you know and the way you go about things. Well, I think they can be a little bit less predictable than you might imagine. So taking a walk on the wild side, uh, along paths which are less trodden down by other people's activities, can actually be a fine thing to do. Don't underestimate being much more um, spontaneous in your approach, reacting to hunches, and listening to your instincts and following them up. It really can work well for you. However, if you are wanting to uh, get into a position where you are doing better in terms of worldly interaction, the link this weekend between the Sun and Pluto can give you a huge opportunity to make a giant transformation. This transformation may show itself in your external circumstances, but just as equally it could be something that's changing within you. The determination to have a better lot in life, yet can organise in it in a way which is functional and can be sustainable, is something that you can really have a gift for. There's just one warning note. As this week draws to a close, Mars is in a, a right angle with Neptune. If there is someone that you encounter in, in your group of friends, um, someone you come into contact with more socially, if it's a real strong pull towards them, because remember my, Mars is very much about desire, Neptune in its angle to Mars is very distorting. So don't rush into something too impetuously when it comes to your love life. But there's another part of you that may be craving to be precisely that, Yet there is an opportunity to be very solid in your approach this week and to reap some very firm and tangible benefits. It's been a real pleasure being with you. Thank you for joining me. Good luck and goodbye for now.